y'all welcome back and welcome if you are new my name is Sam and welcome to my channel I have some easy and delicious weeknight meal ideas for you this week so let's just get right into the video Alright guys, we're kicking this off with some crunch wraps. I had quesadillas on the menu, but I changed my mind. We're going to have crunch wraps. My daughter loves crunch wraps, so that's what we're going to make today. What I've got going on here is I've got some of these tostada shells and I just put in the oven at 325 and baked them for about 6 or 7 minutes just until they're nice and crispy. I've got some tomatoes, cheese, tacos, um, taco sauce nacho cheese sauce, I've got some sour cream, I've got some lettuce, seasoning mix, and these grande tortilla shells here, and I've got some meat. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and brown up my meat, get that going, and add my taco seasoning, and cook it up according to package directions. Now when it comes time to put these together, you're just going to add your taco meat to the bottom of your shells here. Then you're going to add one of your crunchy tostada shells. And then you're just going to add whatever else, um, like your lettuce, sauce, taco sauce, cheese, tomatoes, sour cream, whatever you want on there. And then you're just going to kind of like fold it up and you're going to fry it up in a pan. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started and then I will show you what it looks like when I get them assembled. Okay guys, here is the plate. I've just got a crunch wrap here. These are so easy to put together and they are absolutely delicious. I like these a little bit better than the Taco Bell ones, but this is what we're having for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, tonight's dinner is gonna be super simple. We're gonna have vegetable soup very easy to make. So what I've got going on here, I've got some chicken broth. It's just the Nor brand chicken broth powder mixed with some water. Got some tomatoes, a little bit of olive oil, garlic. Now you can do canned vegetables or frozen vegetables. I have some of these that I need to use up, so that's what I'm using today. Salt and pepper for spices. I've got onion powder, thyme, bay leaf. I've got some garlic powder and a paprika. You can use whatever seasonings that you like. This is what I prefer. I've got some kidney beans that I'm going to drain and rinse. A tomato that I'm going to chop up. Some ground beef and some tomato paste. So, just for starting off, what we're, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up my, tom uh, my tomato, Lord have mercy, my onion and add that with my ground beef into a pan with a little bit of olive oil and get that all nice and browned up and cooked through and then we'll pretty much add everything else so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i will show you what to do next all right guys so i've got my meat mixture done i just added a little bit of olive oil to the pan with the meat and onion and cooked that up until it was browned and cooked through then i added a little bit of garlic and all of my seasoning now you can season this to taste how you like it but now i'm just going to add in my tomato paste mix that together and then i'm going to add in my vegetables and i also chopped up a potato i just washed it and diced it up kind of fairly small i'm going to add that in there and then i'm going to add my diced tomatoes my chick uh my chicken broth and put that in there and then we're just going to let this cook for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the potatoes are cooked completely through. So I will show you what it looks like when I get everything combined together. All right guys, here is my soup. I just added everything else in there except for the beans. I have not added those in yet. I have drained and rinsed them. So they're just sitting here hanging out. I'm gonna add those right at the end. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in my bay leaf just remember to take it out when the soup is done um, i typically take it out right before i add the beans 
so it takes me about just a couple minutes to find it in all of this soup but just remember to take it out because you do not want to chomp down on that bad boy so i'm just going to go ahead and let this cook up until the potatoes are tender and then i'll meet you back here and we'll add in our beans all right guys the soup is done the potatoes are done so i'm just going to go ahead and add in all of the beans mix this up and then let it cook for another five to ten minutes or so and dinner will be ready i'm going to also take out the uh, bay leaf so just going to go ahead and do that and then i will show you my plate all right guys here is my bowl of vegetable soup i have made the soup the exact same way for many many years and it turns out absolutely delicious every time so yeah this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight, and I can't wait to dig in. It's absolutely delicious. All right, you guys. Tonight's dinner is going to be very easy and simple. We're going to make some cheeseburgers and onion rings. Now, I'm making Joanna Gaines onion rings from her cookbook. Um, this is what it looks like. This is from her Magnolia Table cookbook. Now, I will leave the link to this cookbook in the description box below. So, if you want to check that out, um, the link will be in the description box. If I can find the recipe to this, I will link it as well. If not, I will find a similar one and leave that one in the description box for you guys to check out. So, what I've got in here is some flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, stuff like that. And I've got two onions here, an egg, milk for the burgers. Like I said, we're just going to have cheeseburgers. I've got some buns here, a couple of slices of cheese, and some burger patties. Now, I seasoned it with a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and this Kansas City barbecue rub right here. This stuff is so good. I will leave this link if I can find it online um, in the description box. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix up all of my ingredients for my onion rings, chop my onions. I've got some oil coming up to temperature on the stove so that's nice and hot when I get ready for it and I'm just going to cook up my burgers and then I'll show you what it looks like when we get it all going all right guys don't mind the stove I am cooking some burgers for cheeseburgers I've got those almost done the last batch of onion rings are fixing to be flipped and be done so I'm just gonna let these finish up and then I'll show you my plate all right, you guys, here is my plate. I've got my cheeseburger right here. I've got some pickles, some shredded lettuce, mayo and ketchup on a toasted bun. I've got my onion rings here in a dish with some spicy mayo. This is just a little bit of mayo, some sriracha, salt and pepper, a super, super easy dip to dip fries or onion rings in. And it's absolutely delicious and I can't wait to dig in. All right, guys, for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making Joanna Gaines Chicken Florentine. It is from the same book that I showed you before. This is what it looks like. This book right here. Super, super delicious. So here's an overview of everything you're going to need. I've got some brown rice that I'm going to cook on the side to go with it. I've got some salt and pepper, an onion, parsley, butter, flour, cream, um, chicken broth and I've got two chicken breasts here that I'm going to cook um, that I'm going to cut in half because they're pretty thick and then I'm just going to steam up some green beans to go along the side so I'm going to follow her directions and then I will show you what everything looks like when I get it started all right guys here is the chicken florentine it is just done and i have cut up the chicken and put it back in there that is ready to go we're just waiting on the green beans to be done i've got them steaming up in the microwave and then once i get everything situated i'll show you my plate all right guys here is my plate i've got some brown rice on the bottom i've got the chicken here with some of that delicious sauce right on top because i like to have some of the sauce down into the rice and then i've just got some green beans here they're very simply seasoned butter salt pepper can't get any see i know simpler than that but yeah this is what we're going to have for dinner tonight
All right, guys, tonight's dinner is tacos. Very simple, very easy. I've got some of these uh, crunchy tacos. Me and my daughter love crunchy tacos. My husband, not so much. So I've got some just regular flour tortilla shells here. I've got some of this um, taco sauce. This is really good, highly recommend this. I've got some lettuce, some cheese that I'm gonna shred up. I've got some ground beef. I've got some of this salsa. We love this, this is our favorite. And then I've just got some taco sauce, uh, taco seasoning, and some olives and cheddar cheese. So, uh, cheddar cheese sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown up the ground beef, add the taco sauce. Uh, I don't know why I keep calling this taco sauce. Taco seasoning. Add that in there. Cook it up to the pack. You know, according to the directions on the back. And then after I get everything assembled, I'll show you my plate. All right, guys, here is my plate. I've just got three of the hard shell tacos. I added some of the taco meat, some cheddar cheese sauce, some lettuce and cheese. I'm gonna add some salsa and some sour cream to these. And this is all I'm having for dinner tonight. So I might go back in for another, another one, but we'll see. But yeah, that's dinner tonight. All right, guys, this week's meal plan is super easy. It is very, very cold here. We've got that winter storm coming through, and it is almost in the negatives here. So this week's meal plan is going to be easy. Like I said, we're going to have chicken wraps on Monday. We've got some family coming in to celebrate Christmas with us. But you'll be seeing this after Christmas, so that's what we're going to have for Monday. Tuesday, I'm going to cook us up a pot roast and some vegetables. going to be so good. Wednesday, I'm going to make just a simple baked pasta with some sausage and some garlic bread. Thursday, we're going to have a, the classic tomato soup with grilled cheese. Friday, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to make, but I'll take you along Um with us on that see what we find on friday so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys